to the Womanomics podcast. Think of this time as soul care with your host, Sierra and Corinne. Girl, we are on episode 12. 12! We finished season three. It's over. What? Done. This is crazy. We have three season seasons two? of a phenomenal podcast. I'm smiling ear to ear because <laughs> we always are shocked, but this is an accomplishment. I'm really, really proud of us. This is amazing, and I could not have even predicted that we would get to three seasons when we first started this, and I just love how every season we have developed, we have changed, we have adapted to what's going on in our business, how can we serve our listeners, what is our journey as entrepreneurs, and just growing in our authenticity and comfort and just being transparent because at the end of the day, I feel like everybody should be an entrepreneur if they want to be. Yeah, that is very, period. That's very true. And I just think I just congratulate our consistency because in this day and age, it's very difficult being consistent. Like there's so many trends, there's so many ideas floating around with technology. So everyone can like, you know, try out the whole podcast thing, try out different stuff and then you know, here today, gone tomorrow, you don't really entertain it anymore because you, you're chasing the next thing. And the fact that we are still going strong and I'm up here talking like a podcaster feels really <laughs> good. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So, yes, I feel so proud of it. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. So, and just being in the space of, wow, we did this, we dreamt this, and now we have, like, gone beyond where we thought in our expectations. I thought, why not turn it up a notch? (laughs) Of course, that's what we do. (laughs) Why not turn it up a notch and dream huge, big, I mean, beyond the stars in the galaxy for season four? Because, like, if we can get to season three, (laughs) we can get to a season four. Okay, I agree totally agree yeah so this episode is a special episode this is called shoot your shots and that is exactly what we'll be doing today you will see what it's like for us to really just like shoot our shot and Mm -hmm. we are shooting our shot at our dream podcast guests these are amazing individuals who have impacted our lives and just not in like influence us as people like literally have poured in us as people people we ain't never met before same way how people listen to us and we impact you guys and hopefully we'll all meet one day but it's just like I'm excited I can't even contain my excitement I can't even finish my sentence I'm so excited (laughs) You know why you're excited? Because you believe it's going to happen. And yes, so I really do. <laughs> and it's like these podcast episodes are like our like live diaries. Yes, literally. <laughs> yes, I'm literally so excited because I can see it. And you already know, I have spoke about this in previous seasons. I am a visionary. If I can see something, oh boy. Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, Sierra, Sierra is a visionary. Like, I'm, a lot of times I'm very much in the details and there's value in that. But Tierra has very lofty perspectives and vision, and I so respect that. And so, whenever she has a big idea, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, well, wait a minute now. But <laughs> I have seen evidence of it just you know, coming to fruition. So like for those who have crazy ideas or perceived to be crazy ideas, or it's not a good time, it's not right now, or you're not enough. That's a whole entire lie. And we are speaking into existence to have phenomenal guests on our show. It is not impossible to have a phenomenal person in your present because in presence, because like attracts like we believe that um, what we have to say on this platform is important, you know, shifting the minds of entrepreneurs that look like us work like us, you know, have boundaries and challenges like us. We believe that you know, our voice, our topics matter. And then to have people who have, you know, cre- you know, achieved insurmountable ex- success that can come on our platform and share their gems and wisdoms. It just sounds like the next logical thing. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> okay, so y'all, 
I am shooting my shot. We, we need to get two shots. I am shooting my first shot at no other than Kiki Palmer, darling. Okay? Kiki Palmer. And here's why. Kiki Palmer is a boss. Literally a boss. She has been in the, the entertainment industry for over 20 years. We literally grew up with her. And not only that, her level of entrepreneurship, her level of confidence exceeds like anything that I've ever seen. One thing, one thing about Kiki Palmer, first of all, is she gonna shoot her shot, honey. Give her some camera time. She gonna show you why she is who she is. She gonna tell you who she is. She gonna make sure you remember who she is. And on top of that, she's not afraid to ask for work. She's not afraid to ask for business, okay? How many times have you seen Kiki Palmer like, all right, Tyler Perry, and I'm waiting for your phone call. And then next, you know, she in a Tyler Perry movie. Play with my girl. <laughs> Play with her, please. Play, okay? That is beyond just all of the, like, amazing stuff that she has done. And now, now, and this is really where the vision is coming in, right? Now she has her own TV network for mm. the next generation mm. of creators who look mm. like us, who pave our own roads like Kiki, who has such authenticity that it just, it resonates. And I can see Woman on this Podcast on Key TV Network. I can see it. it. You can see yes, it. Yes, I can. Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> Let me tell you something. And the one thing I love about Kiki is that you're getting her you know what I'm saying? You're getting her each and every time. You're getting her wisdom. You're getting her jewel, her gems. You're getting her jewels. You're getting her jokes. You're getting like just everything about her. Her delivery is so authentically her. Mm. And I just love how she has taken her confidence and her gifts, her talents and her skills. And like, I don't know if she actually slept on herself. And I would love to ask her that question. Like, was there any point in time in your life where you like, you, you felt like you slept on yourself? Like looking back and he's like, y'all was really sleeping on myself. Like mm. I was tripping. I want to know because between Key TV Network, she also just um, got her own record label as well. Big Boss Entertainment. She's putting out her first album through there. She just always had her post on the culture. She was the first black Cinderella on broad the, the, the way running it down i didn't even don't know don't play that. with kiki oh that's what i'm trying to tell y'all don't play with kiki wow. it's something about her i've always been attracted you know just to her energy like she is a light and she draws you in and there was a point in time where people was low on kiki right she wasn't in a lot of movies she, she kind of when she was transitioning from you know child adolescent to like adult i feel like there was a break where we didn't really see her like that and now baby is everywhere mm -hmm. with that beautiful baby and that nice looking man and let me tell you something i'm shooting my shot kiki let me marry you <laughs> let me marry you kiki you will have the the littest most amazing, intentional, beautiful ceremony ever. Let me marry you, sis. I got you. I love it. Oh my gosh. Yep. Got there you. it is. Kiki, you hear us? <laughs> Come see me, Kiki. Oh man. Uh, right. Who would you shoot your shot at? Okay. So I will, I have two people. So the first person, we'll just go back and forth. I want to shoot my shot to JT Hustles. Mm. A lot of people don't know who he is, but Including here's me. my experience with this guy. So JT Hustles um, started from my perspective. I didn't Google him. So my perspective, JT Hustles was on YouTube. It's this guy on YouTube, ex-Marine. Um, I believe he's from, he's from the South. And he started different hustles and he would create YouTube episodes about different hustles that people who come from challenging backgrounds can take advantage of. So mm. he would feature someone on his show um, teaching you how to um, maybe get your CDL license, be a truck driver, um, just d all these different types of ways to make money. If you have a criminal background, if you have, if you lack education, if you have mm. bad credit, a lot of things that people in our community are challenged with and they can't get, you know, either, and they can't even get a job sometimes. And he will teach you and expose you to all these different ways to um, create revenue 
for your business that may even surpass a job. And so I started watching him around the time that I was quitting my job. And one of the things that that was featured on his show was this young lady talking about loan signings, which is how I started my own business. And she just walked you through your day about how to do loan signings. And I'm like, wow, that is so cool. So JT Hustle is the number one reason why I became a loan signing agent, started my notary business, and I took off there because I saw him on YouTube. Now, here's why I love JT Hustle is because he is so authentic. So if you ever look him up on YouTube, like he has so much content, it's ridiculous. But if you have the time to scroll all the way back to where he started in Humble Beginnings, teaching you how to create your own transportation company, the way he presents information, the way he relates to his audience is literally the same way he does it now. And today, this man has his own media company. This man is a collector, investor of fine art and fine wine, okay? And he still will throw on a white tee or a black tee and say, it's your boy JT Hustle coming at you another episode. (laughs) And Okay, intro? Yeah. He sounds exactly like that too. And he's so relatable. And I watched so much of his content, not so much that I wanted to, you know, do half of the hustles that he talked about, but I just like to be in the presence of somebody like that who understands. And he would also say, always say, you know, I just got a, you know, third grade education from um, wherever state he's from. And he would always speak so humbly, even though he is educated, he is an ex-Marine. He wants you to know that you are him and he is you. And Mm -hmm. I I know he has changed many lives, especially black men, um, seeing worth in themselves and making positive decisions for their family's future, all because he's, you know, created access. He's also a published author. And it's funny enough, I found myself in a whole mastermind with him. I never told you that's here. So I, I don't even, I couldn't, I can't even think how dots are connected, but that's how life works. So I found, I, I think I joined something and one thing led to another. I got into a mastermind with him and it was a number of sessions where I'm on Zoom with him and like a few other entrepreneurs and he's sharing gems and we're learning from each other. And I'm like, oh, I cannot believe I'm in the same room with this man. And then he, you know, had another guy, an accountant who was speaking about, you know, managing your taxes as a business owner. And then that guy did my taxes. It's like it's a small, small world, um, wow. but he's like profoundly successful. And he recently was on Andre Hatchett's podcast, too. So he's everywhere and he's just very, very humble. He's not trying so much to shine, but he's trying to have impact. And that alone is just so moving. I love it when people grow to heights and they take people along with them. They don't forget who where they came from. And they're the same They're the same. Mm. They don't, their mission doesn't change. And so that is who I am shooting my shot to. I love that. I am not super familiar with JT Hustle. You always like talk about him and like quote him. And now I know I have to like sit down and really go through his content. I did not know he was the reason why you became a notary though. That's interesting. I did not know that. Yep. I totally watched a little episode. The girl was going from house to house doing her real estate loan signings and I have never heard of it. And I'm like, wow, that is so cool. And, and so I decided to do it. And one, and you know how the algorithm on your YouTube, you start getting more of the same. That's how I started seeing all these coaching programs and stuff like that. But because this guy had this woman on there and they're both brown people, I'm like, I could do it too. I and so, and, and he would be very intentional about just, you know, connecting people that may not have a way, may not have direction, you know, may have a certain perspective about money and worth and wealth. You know, he talks about his upbringing and the projects. He talks about his mother being a single mother and, and all of those things. And he, you know, just by being relatable, he teaches you that you can see life another way. And, and this man is, his, his level of success is ridiculous. He's a social mm-hmm. media influencer. He's a serial entrepreneur. He's a public speaker. He has a master's degree. He's an ex-Marine. Like, like it's crazy. But, oh, he's mm-hmm. from South Carolina. That's where he's from. So he always says, you know, I just got a third grade education from South Carolina. But I'm thinking, no, you don't. You real smart. You real smart. <laughs> <laughs> No, I love that. And I just love the idea of, again, creating multiple streams of revenue from really one thing. And even though 
his one thing was teaching people about various ways that they can create their own hustles and create their own streams of revenue. That was his you know what I'm saying? One thing. And I thought that was super dope and to expand and really just grow and stretch. See, now that type of hustle leads me right into my second shot, okay? And it's going to no one other than Miss Tabitha Brown. Auntie Tab, that's my business. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I need Auntie Tab on the show. I need Auntie Tab on the show. And here is why. First of all, it's the fact that she created this powerhouse around her lifestyle, literally. The things that she did on a daily basis. She made veganism cool again. Mm. She brought recipes and her personality and creativity into the kitchen of you know, our community, which is known for not eating all, you know, the most vegetables and just not having the most healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And she made it cool and she drew us in with her charm and her her authenticity and just that Southern belleness. Like, she is amazing. She became an uh, an ambassador. She also has a vegan cookbook coming out. So it's just like, I'm vegan, I want to share what veganism has done for my life. So let me hop on TikTok and shout out to her daughter who taught her how to use TikTok because if it wasn't for her daughter, like what would we know Tab the way that we know Tab as intimately, right? As intimately as we know Tab to the point where we call her Tab. Right. So we like, you know what I'm saying? Like she has literally brought us in with like such welcome arms. And I think... I think that we definitely repaid her because not only does she have like her, like her as herself and her brand and her lifestyle is successful. Everything that she touched, baby, Mm. Tab got the Midas touch. Mm -hmm. Okay. That partnership with Target, it started off with apparel and swim. And I think decor, or no, it started off with apparel, swim, and accessories. Not only did it get extended, it also got expanded to include decor, um, housing accessories, um, office accessories, literally everything. Then she got Donna's recipe, because even her hair has its own personality, its, (laughs) its own authenticity, right? She started a vegan hair care line in partnership with Ulta. She wow. also got her seasonings with McCormick. Come on, don't play with Tab. She got her restaurant, her vegan restaurant. She has a new show that's coming on Food Network. And if you listen, this is a fun fact about me. I love cooking competitions. Mm. Baby, I'm watching that. It's called <laughs> It's Complicated. It's compli- no, it's complicated. It's com- it's complicated. That's what it is. It's complicated. And that is going to be Food Network's first vegan cooking competition show. Oh, I love that. And you know what I love most about her? She will make me cry with some of her posts. Like, she, you know, in the midst of all of the amazing things that she's doing, she also, you know, has a message of, you know, be kind to people. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And, you know, be kind to yourself, most importantly. And she will tell stories. And it's like, she always is talking to me. Whenever yep. she posts something, she'll tell a story or, you know, it'll be metaphorical. You know, I was walking down the street and this happened and that happened. What I realized and I'm thinking, oh, my God, <laughs> I needed that. <laughs> I needed to hear that. And she feels like she is part of your family. I love her. Tab is literally a gem. OK, I love her podcast. She got Fridays with uh, Tab and Chance, which is her husband. She retired her husband. <laughs> Come on, sis. She retired her husband, uh, Mm. her Thundercat. Okay, she Mm. retired her Thundercat. And then she also got an original show on YouTube. And it's a kid's show. And you're right, uh, Auntie Tab, she stands for joy. She stands for being intentional, being kind, really just having a good spirit and feeding your soul. And it's like, Again, she is someone who stayed authentic and stayed true to exactly like who she is and built not only multiple successful businesses from it, but like successful passive revenue, like income for herself. Like she literally created 
that. So when people buy her McCormick season and sell out, she ain't she ain't uh you know putting the jars together herself you know what i'm saying when her book go out she ain't peddling you know from corner to corner selling her book like she has stuff that's out there that's going to make her money no matter where she is within her life and like girl that is goals and i need to know i need to tea auntie tab please come on womanomics podcast we need some we need to share your soul care with our entrepreneur and she definitely has soul care like for one (laughs) <laughs> I love it. Okay. So my last person um that I would love to shoot my that I am shooting my shot to right now is David Shans of the Social Proof Podcast. Ooh, now David one. Shan is, I think, brilliant. And to me, he's brilliant for a number of reasons. One is because he's very, very unassuming. He, um, I think he's a phenomenal interviewer because he's the type of interviewer that will present very humble, like he doesn't know what's going on. Because he, he, not 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 that he doesn't know what's going on, but he, um, he asks questions and he engages his guests on the show um, from the perspective of the listener. So a mm. lot of us who follow and listen to his podcast. Uh, we are trying to figure it out. We're trying to get more information. We're trying to be around like-minded people. We're learning how to think. We're learning how to navigate this entrepreneurship world. And so he will ask his guests questions, you know, and on, on our behalf. And I, I love that about him because sometimes we will follow different podcasts and listen to different people who have, quote unquote, arrived at a certain level of success. So we learn and gain information and insight, but sometimes the, the relatability may not be there. And so right. there can be a slight disconnect that may not, in the back of our minds, we may not see the possibilities because look at what they've already done, look at where they already are. And he, you know, is a master of asking, quote unquote, like dumb questions, like asking questions that we would want to ask, but we should know that already. I love that, you know, and he's very funny um, and he creates the space of um, safety for our people, our brown and black people, where we um he recognizes just like JT hustle, he recognizes, you know, the barriers that we face, but he also, um, feeds his listeners with all the possibilities. Um, he has a, um, uh, daily, I forget what it's called, but it's, uh, he has a mastermind every morning at 8 a.m. I haven't joined it. Um, but he sometimes go live on Instagram and he has tons, like hundreds of entrepreneurs that show up every day at eight o'clock in the morning and they just chop it up. He will talk, speak on a topic and he literally will teach. He will teach on different mindset topics, teach on different strategies. Um, wow. and I just love his approach. I think it's all about, you know, relationship building in this business, in this world. And when you can connect with people, you know, of different likes, it is, it's amazing what that can do for their lives. When you can, you know, when I'm watching his podcast and I can see myself in his questions, I can see myself mm-hmm. in the conversations. That's very, very impactful. So I think he's very intentional um, with the way that he positions himself on the podcast. And he also like teach podcasters how to create a podcast. So he's a yep. master podcaster. And when I thought that I was an imposter podcaster, I would watch his stuff even more because I wanted to be a, a real one. <laughs> and so um, I think that he's great. And he, you know, he started out as, I think, a server at Cheesecake Factory for many years. And like that was his career. And one thing led to another. He, you know, started a T-shirt business. And so he he really like started from the bottom like most of us. We have an idea, but we're in a job. We have financial challenges, but we believe enough in ourselves to continue the the effort to move in the direction of success. And that's what he's done. And so now he has a very successful podcast and he has amazing guests on the show and he surrounds himself with incredible people. So he's create communities with people where he wants to get to. So he is not shy to be the person in the room that knows the least amount of information although I question that because he's brilliant but he's (laughs) always in these spaces with people who have like 
ridiculous amounts of success and he's not afraid to ask questions and he's not afraid to um, convey that information to his audience. And so I think that he would be a phenomenal guest on our show um, because he is just, he creates a light where there's darkness for entrepreneurs. He shows that anybody can achieve success with a particular formula of belief in yourself, you know, a certain level of, uh, you know, effort um, and consistency. That's what he preaches. I love that. And that's exactly what everyone like needs. That's what we need. That's what we need to hear. And one thing that you said that I love is that you say you, he fills um, people with like the possibilities. Like he, he literally, a lot of times we're not, we don't understand, like we can be dreamers, but our dreamers can also be reality. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the mm-hmm. possibilities are endless and what we want to do in it. Our environment may not reflect where we want to be in this moment, but it's about putting that energy and effort to what you dream about that can make it a real possibility for you. Mm-hmm. And we see that with everybody that we talked about. Everyone we shot our shot up today, we well, see they do it. They're literally living proof. So it would be amazing if we can get them in for a conversation. I know, I can't even, I have an idea. I can dream about the impact they can have, but I know that it's going to do far greater than that. So Kiki Palmer, Tabitha Brown, JT Hustle, David Shins, we are shooting our shot to get you on next season, season four of the Woman Obvious podcast. Thank you guys so much for listening to season three. I cannot believe that we have cracked out another season. Wow, this is amazing. We thank you so much for listening. We thank you so much for all of like your comments and just everything that you poured into us and we hope that we poured back into you the same way if you want to see somebody on our podcast shoot your shot in the comments okay let them know that you want to see them on womanomics and we will do our best to get them here i love love you guys wow until season four bye bye y'all happy womanomics wednesday